Hello again everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today what have we got for you? Well now we have got the Heine Haynes Dirty Dozen. <laughs> Let's get cut to it shall we? Here we go. This is the first one that started it all. My first video and I got this. Basically I saw Paddy's, uh, one of Paddy's videos. Um, I've been, I've had knives since eight, nine years old. Okay. My grandfather, grandfather taught me how to use a knife properly and my dad also and everything. But then I, you know, I've just been going through stuff and I had to start a new job. Uh, it was locked down, okay, and I had some spare time because I was working from home. And, um, yeah, then I saw Paddy's video and uh, on a couple of knives. And I got this. I had about 20, 30 quid on me. And I got this. This is the Boca Tech Tool 1. A great little budget knife. Fantastic. With lovely G10 uh, scales there, nice little pocket clip, look at that, which is tip up, tip down, of course. Um, little glass breaker there, which does actually work. <laughs> I've tested it. I should have, it was my first video, guys. I didn't upload that, but hey ho. So you can actually pinch and pull this. There you go, prove that point. Look at that. Nice little spine, two tone there with the mat and the statin. Look at that. Is that not lovely? That's a great modern drop point. It just is fantastic. Absolutely lovely. I've kept this for sentimental reasons. I'm probably going to give it away at some point um, to encourage people, to, more people to make uh, videos and stuff like that. So that's that. That's the first one. Then I think I actually got this puppy, which I still haven't reviewed. It's about two years old. <laughs> Unreal, right? And I've used it about two, three times light use, okay, just to test it because um, I used to carry it for a couple of days or a week before I review it. Look at that. This, the CRKT, guys. Look at that. Very compact. Nice little pocket clip there. Again, in the G10, that red Heine Haynes G10 of theirs. Um, and this, even I've got XL hands. Check this out. Look at decent blade stock there. Lovely. Nice little lock up. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Is that not a sight to behold? This is another great budget carry. She's fantastic. So this was about, this is still, after a couple of years, this is sub 20 pounds. This is like 19 pounds, 95, something like that, yeah? And it has been for a couple of years. This was about 30. And um, it's, hard, it's hard to find now. They've kept, they've kept this, um, you know, on sale for all that time. This was on sale a couple of years ago. Um, it's not available at the moment, but I would stick around because it probably will be again soon at some point. They've got to bring this one back. It's fantastic. You can get this, though, in stainless steel or copper. There are different versions you can get it, but I think it's a line lock. This is not. This is a UK legal one. There you go, with a detent. Look at that. See? One-handed opening, one-handed shut. Okay. There you go. Nice little cutout. I've got that finger chore there. Nice little lock up. I can rest it on the top of the spine there. I've got complete control. I can't cut, um, cut them. It can't cut me because it can't shut me. Look, I'm super safe. Okay, <laughs> this is great. Stubby stout, sheep's foot, modern interpretation sheep's foot. I can cut all my bags, my sand bags, my cement bags, or string, whatever. All my boxes, you know, just fantastic knife. Great knife. Really good. If you get if you see one, get it, guys. That's all I say to you. Get it. Worth every penny. And then also, this is its main competitor for that. This was also sub £30, pounds, £29.95 or something like that. It's literally <laughs> this little puppy, okay? Um, this, of course, a lot of you will know. This is the real steel Luna. Look at that. Lovely, uh, elegant uh, pocket clip there, deep carry, of course. Nice G10 scales, nicely sculptured and beveled, okay. Um, this is a one-hand opening as well. You can pinch and pull. I'll prove that point. I'll show you that in a minute. There you go. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> Fantastic, carry. Really multi-purpose blade. If you're getting into EDC, guys, or knives, or you're after a budget knife, definitely consider that one for sure. But if you can stretch that a little bit more, definitely, this is great. The D, you've got 12C27 on here. you got D2 on this, okay? Now, I had about 10 or 12 of these, <laughs> right? I had them in, like, tan and green micarta. I wish I kept the green micarta one, but hey-ho. I had a yellow one. I had a green G10 one. I was going crazy on this. I, I, I'll show you what I mean, okay, guys? So very quickly, you've got some jimping on there. So again, it can't, it's difficult to, look, you're very, you're quite safe on this, guys. Plus, it's got a nice half stop. Look, yeah, it can't look up, it can't uh, cut you, okay? All right, fantastic. And the actual walk and talk 
if you're just getting into knives or on or EDC rather, just fantastic guys. Really, really seriously consider this. So I had a few <laughs> I still got a couple. Um but yeah, I'll show you what I mean. Look, here we go. Here's the other one. Again, to prove my point, it's exactly the same as that without the thumb stud, which you've got to purchase extra. You literally pinch and pull, guys. There you go. Boom. Okay, that's how fast you can deploy this blade. Okay, super fast. Okay. Lovely, that two-tone look. Look at that in the silver or black. Just fantastic. <laughs> I do not tire of that talk, walk and talk. Anyway, I mean, I had it in a black and bronze. Okay. <laughs> you see what I mean? I've still got a few left over. And I gave them away to family, friends and stuff like that, guys. Um, while we're on it, I had this one, of course, the B Blasted. This is also, look at that, lovely, isn't that? Gorgeous titanium, of course. Now this, again, pinch and pull. Just gorgeous. Bang on down the center. Just fantastic. Now, I don't know if you can see that. You Look at that. You've got B Blasted titanium there. So it's a little bit grippy. It's not dead smooth. You can, it's really grippy in the hand. Fantastic. Gorgeous knife. So I had, you see what I mean? I've had, I've had a few of these. And never disappointed, guys, with these. Never, never, ever disappointed with those. Okay, and then I went up to, I think I've got this one next, something like that. Anyway, this, of course, is the Spyderco, the Spyderco Urban Lights. Okay, here by Heine Haynes, of course. That lovely deep carry pocket clip. And my what, probably my favorite still, look at this, guys. This is S30V. My favorite value for money still, it really is. It, it's easy to sharpen, relatively easy to sharpen, and it holds a great edge, okay? Super sharp, fantastic knife. Yes, it's compact, but look at me. I've got a size 9 and a half, 10 hands, XL hands. I've got a, I'm super safe. I've got that jimping on the thumb ramp there. I've got that thing, jimping on the finger shawl as well. It can't close me. I'm super safe. There you go. And I take this out uh, when I'm much more in an urban environment because it's not, and you can, it's not just one hand opening, it's one hand closing as well. There you go. All right. So I take this out when, you know, because some people get did you do about knives, don't they? And we want to create a positive atmosphere. So this is exactly the same thing. There you go. But the UK PK, so it's still legal, but slightly bigger, which shoots my hands, of course. There you go. Look at that. It just, it literally fits like a glove. Look at that. There's my hand. I fit like a glove. That is gorgeous. That does all my EDC. Just everything, guys. Again, in S30 fee still. There you go. Fantastic. With all the Jim Peen on the... Look at that, on the thumb ramp and that. I love this knife. It's just a great design by Spyderco. It really is. And that's that. So, um, then... <laughs> hold it some more. Uh, what do I do next? Probably got this one. This. Now, this is the Cataclyst. Okay. Um... This is a good knife overall. This was is unique carry. Um, I reviewed it some while, a while back. Um, but yeah, it's it's. I wouldn't recommend this for a beginner. Okay, put it that way. I would recommend this for an intermediate or a someone who's used to knives. Okay, simply because it's not the easiest to open. Which it's no problem for me to open it. But if you're new, you might find it difficult. So I got like this. There you go. Got like that. Whoopsie lazy. It's been a while. <laughs> And there you go. It's quite easy to deploy, actually. Once you get it's an act to it, once you get used to it, there you go. A bit like the Boko Wasabi, um, but in a modern guise. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Really, really nice. And that's that. Um, so I'm probably get look, look at that. <laughs> that's quite, yeah, you see what I mean? Um, so I know what I'm doing, but some people might easily cut themselves, okay? Then I had this little puppy. Hold on, I had this first, didn't I? Now, Heine Haynes done a budget series, which is looking like uh, the, you know, the classic Otter Macerator, or of course the Boca, um, um, yeah, the Bo Boca Atlas Multi. Okay, this this particular one. Um, so you got basically you've got the sheep's foot blades. It comes in a reverse tanto, a drop point, super useful. I think it spring, springs one this one actually, um, but you can pinch it with a gloves on as well because it's nice wide de you know easy to deploy and of course you've got nice deep carry pocket clip more or less and you've got the scissors there super useful scissors what i've actually really 
I went to town on this one. And so, yeah, no, fantastic little knife. And, you know, literally about 20 pounds, 22, something ridiculous amount of money, okay? Um, nothing, really. Then, of course, we've got the concept, okay, which is a nice little uh, knife, of course, this one. Look at this. Nice little EDC, real co concept. Co it's a very compact um, EDC. Um, when I'd done the video, you may remember I compared it with the cadet and the reason why i've done that if you look back to back there's exactly 84 mil they've clearly i believe have taken some design cues off of that you know and that's fine because this is obviously super popular so it's roughly the same height um which is great you know so that's and that's fine lovely uh, elongated long pole easy to deploy there you go, boom, lovely modern sheep's foot. Look, I can still get my little pinky behind it. I'm free, so I'm not um, too tight there. Just underneath the kick there, I've got my index finger. I'm super comfortable. It's a very well um, designed and worked knife. But also, if we look here now, I've done this recently, didn't I? I've got this one. Look at that. You can see that more design cues. <laughs> right? And that's fine. It's all good. We all borrow off each other, right? But it's a lovely one as well. But that's uh, not Heine Haynes, of course. That's the Joseph Rogers, if you're interested. I reviewed it uh, not long ago. Um, but this is a fantastic little carry. It really is. Uh, if you want something very compact, okay. But in G10 and something like that. And just, yeah, it's a good little knife. Quite expensive for what it is. You might want to consider it's good value, it's still good value because Honey Haynes is generally good value. You might want to consider also this um, for a little bit more, uh, slightly better still. Um, but hey, it, this is a bit more compact. So again, it depends on what you're doing, where you are, and where, what you're going to be doing for the day and your environment you're going to be in. Then we have this, uh, which I viewed some time ago, quite late at night, I remember. <laughs> Deep carry pocket clip, uh, clip rubber. We've got CRKT CEO. Now, this is a smaller version, slightly smaller version of the original one, which had a thumb stud. Now, I wish they actually had included the thumb stud here, but hey ho, it's a two finger, two handed deploy, which is fine. This is a great office knife or executive knife. Look at that. Yeah, oriental overtones there. Look at that. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely blade. It really is just so elegant, right? This is great for a letter opener, something like that, you know, just to keep on your desk. Just who, if you still get letters, <laughs> right? But yeah, it's just a lovely, lovely. So you can put that in your pocket. It looks like a pen almost, you know, because you're going to see that. So fantastic little knife. Again, but um, it depends what you're doing, where, you, what environment you're in, if you're in your office and that. Then we've got this little puppy. Now, this, my God, this is small. Um, yeah, again, they probably looked at the 58 mil Victorinox or something like that. This is done by Boca, okay. And look at this. Obviously, it's really form and function. But from memory, there you go. I can still open it, <laughs> even though I've got massive hands. Look at that. Yeah, it's, it's like a oh, not chisel grind. No, it's not chisel grind. I'm just checking. Okay, but look at that, guys. Honestly, yeah, just... <sighs> Small and compact, it'll do your boxes and all that stuff. If you're after something super compact, this is you could use this. This is actually quite it's got a little half stop in there as well. Look at that. Fantastic. So you got the it's a keychain. Um so you can put it on a net on a neckline, something like that. Um but yeah, it's seriously worth considering. Again, I might give this away. I'm not sure yet. I, I don't know if uh but yeah, you can see it's quite easy to deploy, guys. It's been a while, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Nice little uh, knife. It's it's a unique carry. It's something new, isn't it? And that's that, guys. Um, so these are the dirty dozen. <laughs> my my twelve Heine Haynes collected so far. I mean, I had I had quite a few more, but I've given them away, you know. And I'll probably give a few of these away coming up with my thousand giveaway. Okay, which is coming up soon. So stay tuned. Um, if you guys, some of you out there, um, sap brothers and sisters, and Whatever, are you thinking about starting a knife channel, uh, sorry, EDC channel, not just knives, EDC channel, then then actually go for it. Just give it a go. Break, you know, um, try your first video, guys. We'll encourage you. It'd be fantastic. And that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, so if you want to, anything for this, you can go for prices available. You see the links below. Show your support by giving us a like and by hitting that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. 
stay sharp.